Hey guys, it's Sarah. So I am back with the video I've been dreading making for a year. It is my skin flick video where I show you guys what it looks like to have lost 227 pounds. Um, I originally was going to make, uh, or so I was going to wait to make this video until I was at goal. Um, but I thought that it would be interesting to show what it looked like now versus what that skin will look like before I have plastic surgery. So both after I've lost probably, hopefully another 30 to 50 pounds and then um, with time as well. So I thought it would be cool to kind of do it now. Um, I wanted to show you guys first though what I look like in uh, shapewear in a figure flattering sort of outfit. So this is me wearing very tight capri pants and a tight sweater with a belt um, because if I don't wear a belt I tend to not look like I have much of a waist. So right now I am wearing shapewear, although I have to say that what I have is really too big, so it doesn't do the job it could be doing. But what I'm wearing is a Slimpressions um, long line brief, so it comes up under here. I'll show you guys from the side what it looks like. Well, the lighting in here isn't great, but that's what it looks like from the side. Okay, it's obviously I still don't look thin, but um, it looks a lot different than it looks without clothes on. So this is me with clothes and in heels, which I'll probably leave on for my other video too, because why not? <laughs> but um, this is me in clothing, and in a second you're going to see me with it. So guys, I realized I didn't have a uh, robe or anything for the big reveal, so husband's shirt it is. I feel really risky business, but I guess without the boxer shorts and the socks. Um, so I'm going to try and... I don't know how well you guys can see, and I'll try and do everything a little bit closer up, but I wanted to show um, my legs and stuff from far away, so here we go. <laughs> wow. Okay. This is me, guys. This is what <laughs> 227 pounds lost looks like. Um, I'm going to get closer so you guys can hopefully see a little better. I'm not going to do this too close up because, honestly... I'm just too self-conscious to do that, so I'm sorry. Um, but let's start, let's go from here down. This part of my body, I'm totally okay with. My collarbones, my shoulders, all of this is totally fine and basically fat-free. I mean, there's really nothing that you can like pinch up here. There's not a lot of excess skin, obviously. Part of that just has to do with the part of body it is and also gravity. Um, obviously, as you get down further, fat wings, um, they're pretty gross. Um, you can see, you can see pretty easily sort of where the actual muscle is and where the, and there's still fat in here too, but obviously there's a lot of skin. And if I do this, you can sort of see the muscle there. Um, and if you look at it here, you can see just how thin this part actually is. What's interesting is if I do this, the difference between my arm like that and my arm like that. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, my boobs, I used to be a um, 46 double D and now I am about a 38 or a 40 D, um, which doesn't sound like a big difference, but cup sizes do go up um, with band sizes. So a 46 D is very different than a 38 D in, in how big the cups actually are. Um, if I wasn't wearing this bra, uh, honestly, my breasts probably are probably about down here. Um, they're not quite like tennis ball and tube sock yet, but they're definitely pancake boobies. Um, in the front, I've got this kind of under boob thing happening. I don't know what's up with that and I don't know why it's like this one is way bigger than that one. I also have this, which is really attractive, this side boob fat skin thing. It's actually mostly skin at this point. And then tucked into here, there's also some like side fat. Um, and then my over belly, um, this is the part I probably hate the most of anything. I developed this after I had children and yeah, it's pretty nasty. I don't know if you guys can see, even if I get a little bit closer, but um, try and stand up straighter. Um, I have a really big scar here from my surgery. Um, this scar just never healed properly. I don't know why. Um, the rest of them are fine, but this is the big one. Um, you can see the quality of the skin here. It's really gross. Lots of stretch marks and that sort of thing. Sorry, it's really bright. I just wanted to make sure there was enough light because it's dark today. Um, I'll show you guys the back, actually. You can see 
my tattoos. Um, and you can see that I have um, basically one big fat roll on each side. Um, I don't have multiple back fat rolls, but I do have this, um, which is pretty gross. But um, other than that, it's really actually totally fine. It's just this part right here. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, my legs, I'll have to go back a little bit to show you guys. Um, my legs are pretty gross. Um, I don't know if you can see. Did you hear that? That was totally my legs slapping together. Um, woo! The inner part of my thighs, which I don't want to get like too pornographic in showing you, but kind of look like curtains. Um, but really there's just a lot of excess skin that I can pinch. Um, and then my stomach, um, I'll try and show you guys without getting crazy. Um, this is what my stomach looks like. I have a lot of this, this hip fat. Um, it's pretty gross. Um, and this is a lot of skin at this point. Again, there's still fat in there, but lots of skin. And, uh, this, this lighting is even particularly making things look worse, which is great. I'll show you guys from this side. Okay. Um, now here's what I'm going to say. There's definitely still a lot of fat in here. Um, but, I mean, if I actually kind of move the skin out of the way, you can see that there's a big difference between my body underneath and the remaining fat and skin on top. Um, what I will say is that I, although I'm not happy with the way my body looks now, I realize it could be much worse. Um, I've definitely seen other videos of people's excess skin, people who have lost 200 plus pounds, I think, <laughs> as unattractive as I find the excess skin, that it actually is not as bad as it could be. I mean, I was afraid that my pantus was gonna like hang down to here. <laughs> um, and it still might happen because I know it will actually get progressively worse as I lose that last bit of weight. Um, but right now, although it's unattractive to me and you know difficult to look at, um, it's not so terrible that I can't function on an everyday basis. Um, and I'd say the things that actually bother me the most are my arms, which have always bothered me because they're always big, um, and this part of my stomach. Um, this is a bit easier to hold in, but this is difficult because this makes a really crazy muffin top. If I wear pants that are actually the right size, this will hang way over. You can see, like, yeah, it hangs way over my pants. So um, those are actually the two areas that I really, really dislike. Everything else is like something I can live with. Um, I haven't worn shorts or short sleeve shirt like short sleeve shirts for probably 15 years, if not more. So I'm not bothered as much by my thighs and that sort of thing because I never showed them anyway. Um, maybe someday I will after I have plastics, but uh, until then, this is what I'm dealing with. So for all of you out there who have been wondering what it looks like under my clothes, what it looks like when you've lost 200 plus pounds. Um, this is it, at least for me. Uh, I guess, if you've watched the end of the video, I should have probably said this at the beginning, but I'm 5'10", I currently weigh 233 pounds. Um, I'm 5'10 and a half, actually. I'm 35 years old, I'll be 36 shortly. Um, so, you know, as far as my age and my height and, and all that stuff, that's how that plays out um, into the skin thing. Um, my skin was terrible before surgery. I had tons of stretch marks. Um, I've been overweight my whole life, so I was not expecting my skin to bounce back. Um, so that's kind of the background. Everybody is different. Um, some people have very little excess skin. Um, some people have a lot, but I think once you get into the like losing 200 pound plus category, you have to expect that you are gonna have quite a lot of excess skin and it's probably not going to be attractive. So. I am fully committed to having plastics. At this point, I'm looking at a lower body lift, um, uh, having my thighs and my arms done, um, having my breasts lifted and probably an augmentation depending on how small they get uh, because I have really broad shoulders and a wide frame so I look weird if I don't have some kind of something going on up here. Um, and yeah, so those things for sure. And then I might look at things like my back and, and other stuff. but. Um, that's it. <laughs> um, hopefully I will have the lady balls to post this video. Um, thank you, YouTube. Love you guys. Bye.